Now, recently we lost the musical theatre genius Stephen Sondheim, who was responsible for so many great shows down through the years, including Into the Woods, and a new production from Northern Ireland Opera is about to open at uh, the Lyric Theatre here in Belfast. Let's find out all about it, because uh, Ruby Campbell and uh, Rory McCollum join us now on the line. Guys, welcome to the show. So for any performer, doing a Stephen Sondheim show must be a dream come true. It absolutely is. It's a bit of a cliche in the industry, but people often refer to Sondheim as the Shakespeare of musical theatre, just in terms of uh, the profound nature of his work and the depth of his lyrics and the genius of his music um, all coming together. It creates a really complex, layered experience for audiences that is also super relatable. Um, it's not like... Uh, you know, for, for some audiences, they might be a bit intimidated by going to see a Shakespeare, for example. Um, but with Sondheim, musical theatre is just that wee bit more relatable. The stories are very human and very fun, but also with great intelligence and wit and uh, depth. And Rory, it comes as a great tribute to Stephen Sondheim because, of course, sadly, we lost uh, the great man recently, didn't we? I know. Um, it's, it's such an odd thing to feel like a real it wasn't it was a real sense of grief in the industry it was very odd because obviously it's not like we've all sat down and had dinner with him or anything but you know his work is like a huge part of our industry it's a huge part of our jobs of our lives you know when you're starting to be interested in musical theatre you listen to his, his shows you you might have gone and seen one in, in the theatre and then when you're training you're actively singing some of his songs you're playing around with his his material and then to do it professionally is it's an honor as it is but to be able to do it so recently after his passing is you know it's a privilege it really is but it is still very sad at the same time and of course a show like into the woods not only does it have a massive cast but it is a big show isn't it i think it's lovely as well for audiences to be able to see a large number of performers on stage at one time because of restrictions over the past couple of years, companies have been a bit smaller and um, productions have had to be scaled back a little bit. But now um, at the stage we're at in the pandemic and with all the strict COVID guidelines in place that we have in rehearsals to keep everybody safe, we are able to uh, have a larger company, have lots of people in the band um, and keep the audiences and everybody working in the building safe at the same time. So I think people are ready for something bigger. So for people who don't know Into the Woods, what's it all about then? So it's based on the grim fairy tales. So you recognize a lot of characters that um, you would know from, from stories growing up or from Disney, but it's certainly not Disney. It's a little bit more, um, in some places, gruesome, but in, 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 in it's a lot more real um, in terms of their stories. Everyone's very flawed. It's not all you know, knights in shining armor come in and slay the dragon. It's very much everyone has their issues. Um, but it's wonderful because they take all these different stories and intertwine them in a way that is both brilliant and chaotic. And, and not just that, it sort of talks about what happens after, the happily ever after. You know, it's, it's, it's a part of the story that no one ever gets to. So, um, yeah, that's, that's like the general sort of gist of the show. If I can Who are you playing then? I am playing um, one of the princes and I'm playing Rapunzel's prince. Ruby, tell us about your character. You're playing Sleeping Beauty, aren't you? I am. I'm playing Sleeping Beauty, uh, ready to get woken up by True Love's Kiss. Um, I'm also understudying on the show I'm, uh, what we call a, a swing almost. Um, so what that means is that I learn multiple tracks or multiple people's parts. Um, which has been, audience members might have seen um, more stuff in the press recently about understudies and swings. And um, because of the pandemic, those parts have been even more important than usual um, in order to keep uh, productions going um, whenever people have to take time off for any reason. So it's, uh, yeah, it's an important part of, again, the puzzle that gets uh, that gets the full show on stage, making sure that the whole team is covered, feels supported and secure, and that hopefully um, we can keep the show running 
uh, regardless of anything else that might happen. Tell us about uh, the rest of the cast then, because when you look down the cast list, it's just a who's who of Northern Ireland theatre, isn't it? It absolutely is. So we've got Sean Kearns uh, at the helm, which loads of our audiences uh, will know his face um, from the lyric and also from loads of different West End productions. Um, he was just uh, working with Cahoots in their uh, Grim Hotel before Christmas there. Um, if any families were, were out seeing that. Um, we've got Wendy Ferguson, who I knew uh, from as being a musical theatre fan as a teenager. Um, from things like Phantom of the Opera. Um, we've got some people making their debut on the lyric stage uh, or their first job just coming out fresh out of drama school. We've got Connor Quinn and Harry Lambert, um, as well as some, well, it's, it, it's just too long to list the it whole is. talented team. Yeah, we've got, like, we've got a few um, opera stars as well who are sort of, who are crossing over into this musical theatre. Um, side of the industry as well. And this is actually a great show for them to sort of make that, that debut in as well, because there's so many different styles and so many different sort of, um, the songs vary from scene to scene, but it's also just, it's, it's wonderful to sit down and sort of like learn about this opera side, which um, I personally have never had much of an interest in. So you're, you're, you're learning and you are starstruck. That first day of rehearsals, I really had to keep my cool. <laughs> And I believe as well we're going to hear the voice of our very own May McFetridge, aren't we? You are indeed. Northern Ireland's own. Um, yeah, but we only find out about that sort of midway through rehearsals. And it's quite funny because there are some people um, from, there's a couple of members of the cast here from Scotland, from England, and whenever they made that announcement, it was half the room went, oh, yes, of course, May McFetridge. The other half of the room were like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> So she's very near and dear to our hearts, that's for sure. Um, so that's that's fun. That's fun. So we're all looking forward to this. Give us all the details. How do we get tickets? When does it open? We are running until the 27th. You can get tickets online uh, or by ringing the Lyric Theatre box office. Um, I would be quick because it is going to sell out. I, I do think that it's going to be a very, very popular show. Um, it's perfect for beating those winter blues. We've all had a very long January. Come and see something in February that is just going to make your heart sing. Um, it's an extravaganza. And uh, I think after the past couple of years, we just need a bit of escapism. We need a bit of fantasy. We need something that takes us out of ourselves for a couple of hours. And I think this is the perfect show to do that. Rory, final word from you. Why should we come and see this show? Because there's nothing like it. There's nothing else like it. And Northern Ireland Opera do a pretty good, good version of it. I'm, I'm not going to be biased when I say that, but it's, it's pretty damn good. Well, guys, I'm looking forward to coming to see the show. Thank you for joining us and uh, the very best of luck. And you can catch Into the Woods at the Lyric Theatre right through until the 27th of February. If I was to sum up Into the Woods in one word, I would call it Surprising. Ooh, I'm gonna say haunting. Genius. Magnificent. Seductive. <laughs> no, uh... Catching. Chaotic. Genius. Panic. <laughs> Into it's one word. Magical. The only word I can think of is magical. Journey. Twisted, because I think it's, yeah, that that's what, more than one way, but twisted, yeah, twisted. Human. Chaotically beautiful. That's two. <laughs> <laughs>